Now you always knew that the Citroen C3 and C cubed architecture would spawn other offerings, and the first of these is now with us. It's the Citroen E C3, as the name suggests. It's the all-electric version of the C3 that we saw being launched in India about last year. So, on the outside, there's not too much that has changed. You will be hard pressed to spot this from the regular C3. Of course, there are some changes. The most notable of which are three new exterior color options, dual tone, of which this is one. And then, of course, you have these E badges to denote the fact that this is an electric. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like now. I can't give you any opinions. Only the specs. We're driving it soon. So that's when we'll be able to tell you more about it. You'll have to wait till the 21st of January for that. And this being an electric, this is where the <coughs> charge port is, which brings us to the range and the battery figures. You can see it's got 320 kilometers of ARI certified range and a 29.2 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is right here. Now ground clearance because of that pack is now 170 mm, earlier it was 180 but with the way the pack has been fitted in the C3 or the EC3 in this case, the boot space remains 315 litres, that's what it was in the petrol C3 and that hasn't changed in this shift to an EV powertrain. So now, now to get back to the charging options, this is how you open that charge port. Now the C3 Citroen says can be charged on just DC power constantly unlike some other EVs and it will charge from 10 to 80% in about 57 minutes. You can also charge it at about 3.3 kilowatt hour via an AC charger and you can also charge it via a 15 amp home socket in about 10 and a half hours. Now we'll quickly take you inside the car to see what's changed. Now the biggest change is here where you notice this shifter. Now it is Quite similar to the one that we saw in the C5, but what you get here is also an eco drive mode. You also get regenerative braking. And in terms of feet, now in terms of features, there is more equipment. You get a set of connected tech features. Now they're phone based, but they work with that 10 inch touch screen. Now, quick word on the EC3's performance. It's got a single motor, as usual, with 57 PS and 143 Newton meters. It'll do 0 to 16 about 6.8 seconds, and the top speed is 107 kilometers per hour. Now, now, this is what the cabin of the EC3 looks like. There are a few different colors used, and although the wheelbase remains exactly the same as before. Now to end, the EC3 comes with a 7-year, 125km battery warranty, a 5-year electric motor warranty. Bookings open, finally bookings open January 22nd and you should be able to buy the EC3 by February of this year. So what did you think about the EC3? We can't give you any opinions, but what are your opinions? Let us know in the comments. We're going to drive this electric hatch soon enough and you'll know more about it by the 21st of January.